Hey, what's going on? Welcome, everybody, to the Total Wellness Show with Terrence on One Way Praise Radio. We are back this Monday evening. Ooh, boy, let me tell you something. Monday, Monday, Mondays. I love Mondays. Um, but the last two Mondays, you know, we took a low uh, hiatus. We took a break, a sabbatical, just to regroup, reorganize, and take a break, you know, and just come back, refresh, mm-hmm. you know. So here we are again. Happy, healthy Monday. I hope everyone is doing well. Everybody had a great 4th of July. Everyone is truly taking care of themselves and watching over their loved ones and making sure that everything is okay spiritually, mentally, physically, all those great things. You know, a lot of times, you know, life gets a little hard sometimes for a lot of people. You know, people are going through a lot right now. And what I saw over the last four or five days is a lot of people out there struggling um, with their health, they're struggling with a lot of things in life in general. So, just, you know, just make sure you reach out to somebody, tell them that, hey, I love you. I haven't seen you in a minute. You know, I'm just, just checking on you. You know, show some love, some person. Turn to your neighbor right now and say, I hope you're all right. Give him a compliment. Do whatever yes. you got to do, you know, mm-hmm. because people need that. Yeah. They need that, man, you know, yes, and uh, I know if somebody takes a check on me and say, hey, T, I'm just checking on you, but that's going to make me feel good. So, yes. you know, I appreciate mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, before we get into my guest right now, I'm just going to, you know, say thank you very much to the sponsors. You know, um, Sharon Mason, thank you so much for what you've done. Thank you for the sponsorship. I really appreciate that. Um, Dr. Troy Gathers, thank you once again. 1670 Clothing Line, y'all check them out. 1670.com. Um, and, you know, it just, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm feeling good right now, you know. And uh, let me say, get well soon, Benji Anderson, you know. Um, they had to take him to the hospital mm-hmm. on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I think it was Friday or Saturday. Lord, forgive, forgive me, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. And um, so, you know, he had a lot of massive pain on his chest, mm-hmm. and we had to call him. So, you know, he's down there in Grady right now. Yes. Anybody want to go down there and show him love? Show him love. Just go to the emergency room and ask for Benji Anderson. Yeah. You know, he's a cool guy. That's a that's a real good friend of mine, OG, you know. Okay. Yeah, stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, you know, and I say that because, you know, you never know when the ambulance is going to come for you. That's right. Mm-hmm. And when I got to Grady in the emergency room, there's a lot of people laying around, man, yes. plugged in. Yes. A lot of health issues. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what I, what I, what I want to say to everybody right now is, like, you know, take care of yourself as much as possible. Absolutely. Um, take care of your loved ones. Make sure that everything is okay. Yes. You know, say, hey, say mm-hmm. I love you. Say I miss you. Hey, say I'm thinking about you because yes. you never know. You never know. You know, mm-hmm. so so anyway, mm-hmm. scratch that off later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to introduce my guest, you know, brand new friend of mine. Ms. Lisa Graham. Ms. Lisa Graham is a nurse graduate from Southern California. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. She relocated here in Atlanta 20 years ago. Yes. And she was mm-hmm. doing um, at uh, Northside Hospital mm-hmm. uh, exactly. diabetes education, diabetes yes. awareness for about 20 mm-hmm. something years. How long have you been there? So, probably about. Um, Maybe about 15 years. 15 years. 15, 15 of the years that I worked for Northside, yeah, I was yeah. in the diabetes. Department. In the diabetes. Yes. So you know why I have her here, <laughs> you know, because it's a big passion of yes. mine with the diabetes mm-hmm. thing, what I went through and what I still go through sometimes, yes. you know, on a bad day, mm-hmm. you know. So mm-hmm. when we first met, it was last week at yes. the um, Healthy Coalition mm-hmm. meeting yes. at uh, DeKalb County. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, I... I, I think I, I registered on Eventbrite, mm-hmm. and then I saw the meeting. I said, let me go step in here and network right quick, do my yes. thing. Mm-hmm. And um, I stood up and introduced myself and said yes. who I am and what mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. And immediately, <laughs> Nurse Graham here, we hit it off. Yes. And then she invited me to the um, Gwinnett Business, business Alliance. Uh, business mm-hmm. Alliance. Mm-hmm. Great event, a lot of networking capabilities. Yes. Mm-hmm. Met a lot of people. It was really cool. Yes. You know, well, I appreciate that. Thank you so that. much for coming out. Yeah, yes. yeah. You know, you know, you know. If if it's right up my alley like yes. that, then it makes sense for mm-hmm. me to come out. A lot That's of times, right. it does not make sense for mm-hmm. me. And mm-hmm. I want. It's a lot of events that I would love to catch. Yes. And see old faces and everything like that. Mm-hmm. You know, but sometimes you know, I I just can't get to them. It's not being mean or ducking anybody. I got love for everybody. But sometimes the schedule conflicts. I, I I'm not able to. 
get certain mm-hmm. places. Mm-hmm. So now you left Northside Hospital and you started up your own business called Renew and Live. Renew and Live. So yes. why did you call it that? What was why was the name? What was the name? Well, um, again, I've been a nurse over twenty plus years in the diabetes arena, as I mm-hmm. said, for the past fifteen. Um, and those, of course, last 15 years uh, spending that time um, in diabetes. The thought of, of course, renew and live, it's renewing, of course, your spirit and living out mm-hmm. your best life. Right. Um, and that's where that um, the name of the organization, and it's a diabetes organization, really about bringing diabetes education into the community. Right. Um, there at Northside, we did a lot of, of course, people coming into us. But what I saw is that there were a lot of not a lot of people coming in, and we really needed to get out there into the physician's office, into right. community c- centers, church churches where the people of course were yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah and that's heavy you know mm-hmm. and i'm and i want to announce that you know i'm going to partner up with yes. her organization yes. and be uh instrument of change yes, yes, yes. because I'm so excited about yeah, that because yeah, your, yeah, your story of course is amazing i appreciate and that and so yeah. again just as as taryn said we of course just meeting this week yeah, and and yeah. it's kind of like we've been friends for a long yeah, time yeah a long time you know it's like oh Yes, What's going on? Exactly, you know? exactly. <laughs> so immediately, but, yes. you know, I, you know, immediately, like yesterday, I asked her. It was at the um, Gwinnett Business Alliance meeting. Yes. I mm-hmm. said, "You should come on the show tomorrow," mm-hmm. you know, because I had somebody that canceled. Yes. So it was mm-hmm. perfect, you know. <laughs> I was, I was like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, this, yes. uh, this definitely is going to work." Yes. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Absolutely. So we, go, I'm going to partner up with her organization. Let's see that we can bring more <laughs> diabetes awareness. awareness. Mm-hmm. Um. Everything to the communities, Community. to the churches, to, yes. you know, the recreation she centers, says, you know, exactly. everything is showing um, a lot of love to people who need assistance mm-hmm. with yes. that type of education. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Because that's where the work needs to be. And when we look at diabetes in the sense of 30 million Americans have diabetes, wow. we've got to start almost a grassroots type of effort yeah. and get into those places where yeah. people are. So as I said to you before, it's so instrumental having someone like you who has been through that experience mm-hmm. who, of course, and it has come out on the other side victorious. Yeah. And those are the messages, again, that people need to hear mm-hmm. is that this is something I may have this, di- this diagnosis, but but it does not have to take over, of course, my body. This right. is something I can do something about. So again, that's why I was so excited, like I said, hearing <laughs> yeah. your story and being, you know, and meeting you yeah. and, and yeah. the, the p- potential of what's to, of yeah, course, what, to Yeah, we can do a lot of major things yes. with this, mm-hmm. you know, and um, yes. I'm excited about it. Mm-hmm. It's a brand new venture for me because, yes. this, like I told you on the phone, this is my first time ever working with, a diabetes organization. So it just made perfect sense for me to really um, connect with you and your foundation. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the foundation. So how did you get started with that? What's the name of it? So um, as as we said, Renew and Live is my for-profit organization. And um, about a year into starting that organization, uh, God put on my heart to start the the nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, I said, well, Father, I'm trying to get this for-profit off the ground. (laughs) I can't, can't, you know, to think about the nonprofit. But what I also saw after I got into the space, of course, out here and dealing with patients, is that although there are a lot of nonprofits, of course, dealing with diabetes, and I work, of course, very closely with a lot of them, Mm -hmm. but um, the focus, I know, of course, just, again, being in the community. And the focus of the nonprofit is really looking at those people who do not have insurance and in those underserved populations. Because what people don't realize is because we've got all this information out here that those certain groups in regards to non-insured or uninsured and then underserved do not get get the access to classes, right. do not get it, the access to this education. And we know, and as you have experienced yourself, that we know this education can change lives. Yeah, it but we've got to get it to them. Yeah, and got- that's how the nonprofit, of course, came about. Yeah, that's awesome. So mm-hmm. look, if you are pre-diabetic, diabetic, you know someone who's dealing yes. with it, complications of it you need to reach out to her we get her information to you her Mm -hmm. for organization her company everything Mm -hmm. like that because Mm -hmm. that's something that's very needed in the community yes so Mm -hmm. what 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 are some tell everybody what are some of the signs or symptoms of diabetes 
You know, the problem with diabetes, um, I tell people for many years we refer to high blood pressure as a silent killer. I almost say that diabetes is somewhat that way because early on, in a sense, we have no signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about people who are pre-diabetic or newly diagnosed di uh, with diabetes, a lot of times these people, of course, just found out by accident. They were at the doctor for something else, and the doctor said, hey, your numbers, of course, are up. They don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. So when we look, talk about classic symptoms, these are usually individuals that later, of course, when these numbers are very high, yeah. Now we start to have symptoms. And some of those classic symptoms, of course, are being very thirsty, <laughs> which, of course, makes us then going to the bathroom oh, frequently, man. losing weight. Yeah. Um, sometimes people have problems with their vision. But mm -hmm. again, these are later signs. Yeah. So that's why it's so important. And we talk to people about making sure you're getting into your physician and getting at least a fasting blood sugar, of yeah, course, strong. Definitely. Yes. Fasting blood sugar. Yes, yes. So that means the night before your appointment, do not eat anything at the exactly. what time? Or, yes. Usually, it's usually we like an eight-hour window. Okay. Um, so, of course, no munching in the middle of the night. <laughs> I know, right? You cookie monsters <laughs> Exactly, <out there. laughs> exactly. So we like to have at least an eight-hour window. And there's another test, also A1C, yeah. which is a test you do not have to be fasting for. Um, and typically, the doctor likes to do both. Yeah. But these are things, like I said, that need to be done because we've got a lot of people out there walking around with diabetes yeah. Five yeah. to six years and don't know that they have it. And you said around 30, hold on, 30 million people? 30 million in America, awesome. yes, right. in America. And of, uh, of that, about 18 don't even know that they don't have Don't even course, know yes. it. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. So what do you tell people who say, hey, as long as I take the meds, I can eat whatever I want to eat? It's, <laughs> I mean, like, that really throws me off. Yes. I was like, oh, that's crazy. <clears throat> Don't do that. Yes. Yes. You know? and, and I'm a huge component. Now, we do realize that some people are on certain medications that they will have to be on. Mm -hmm. um, there's a difference between type 1s and, of course, type 2s. Right. Um, type 1s, unfortunately, will have to be on insulin, but we can adjust, of course, insulin dosage by our diet and exercise. Right, right. Now, type 2s, type 2s can really, a lot of them can manage diabetes with just diet and, and exercise. exercise and so when you go back to those ones that are saying, hey, Hey, I just want to eat what I want to eat and just take the medication. <laughs> I say to them again, um, how important, of course, is this to you? Because we know certain medications, of course, can affect our bodies. Right. So if I can do something and change my life and change these numbers by just changing my diet um, and incorporating exercise, why wouldn't I try that? And I don't want to ever seem when I talk to people that that's easy because I yeah. know it's not. It's but, definitely but not. But I know that a lot of people come to me and they mm. say, I don't want to take this medicine. Right. I don't want to take more medicine. And I ask them, well, what do you want to do mm -hmm. to make sure that this isn't happening? Right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's definitely is going to be a challenge. Yes. It is not a up. I mean, it is an uphill yes. battle. Mm -hmm. You have to, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to have to really dig in. Exactly. Um, pay attention to your emotions yes. and, you know, your diet and your exercise mm -hmm. and have a great support group. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you're, you're definitely going to need that. Yes. And um, I think the art of visualization, like, mm -hmm. I had to see myself getting yes. better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I for me, I was tired of injecting myself every morning in the bathroom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I hated needles as a kid. I don't like needles. Yes. So now you're telling me and that you're not I alone. Right. <laughs> so now you're telling me yes. for the rest of my life, this mm -hmm. is what being was being told to me. Yes. For the rest of my life, mm -hmm. diabetes management, you're gonna have to inject yourself. I was afraid to eat. Yes. Because I didn't want to stick myself, yes. you know, exactly. and it's like I, I didn't want to pop any metformin yes. mm -hmm. so i said what do i have to do to get better mm -hmm. or to stop this yes. and um so it definitely came down to um, um educating myself about mm -hmm. it and practicing what I preach. Exactly. And it and was you, a hard road. Yes. And and just wanted to interject, I was in a class, of course, for, before coming over today, and one of the things we were talking about is uh, changing your eating habits. And, and, and to your point, when you're saying it's not an easy process, and mm -hmm. one of the things that the gentleman was saying in the class, he was asking me a question, he says, 
well, this is a lot of work. Yeah. And and I said, yes, it is. He said, um, and I said, it's a lot of work, but it's something you can do. Yeah. And, you know, he was went to the point of him having to think because what I was talking to them about is portions. And we were this uh, particular class, we were talking about label reading, yeah. reading labels yeah, and different definitely, things like that. Yeah. And so what he was saying is that, and I said, I understand. I said, because before I said, really, we all need to be thinking when mm-hmm. we sit down and eat. Mm-hmm. But it's really an option for some people. Right. But when we have diabetes, we have to think about what we're eating. Oh and so the thought was, to what I was saying to him is that, yes, you do have to think more. Because before you just kind of pulled up and you, just, and you didn't really think about it. Right. But now if my goal is to truly change my numbers, to really make a difference, of course, mm-hmm. to diabetes, I have to make that of course, you know, more of an effort to yeah. really kind of think about what I'm putting on my plate. And that's a key word you have to apply to effort. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. you can think mm-hmm. about it. And some people tried it for a month or two, 90 days, yes. 120 days. Mm-hmm. And I think that the cravings kicked in mm-hmm. and they wanted what they wanted. Mm-hmm. They didn't see results somewhere in their mm-hmm. exercise routines yes. on their own. And mm-hmm. Before they know it, you know, they're back at the buffet, you know, as long as they're taking the meds. Yes. And um, and that's counterproductive pretty much. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you don't really want to do that. You know, you really want to dig in with your nutrition. Yes. Um, Google some things, mm-hmm. the glycemic index. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I had to I had to find all that yes. on my own, mm-hmm. you know, um, Googling a diabetic diet. Yes. It was mm-hmm. a lot of sites out there that really had educational things for mm-hmm. me to, to pick from. Yes, yes. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, I can mm-hmm. do that. And, you yeah. know, and, and I was able to. Now, my doctor, shout out to my doctor, Dr. Yvette Murray. Mm-hmm. You know, she was very, very in there with it. Yes. You know, she mm-hmm. was like, mm, this is what you do, boop, 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 boop. And I hit the ground running. Yes. But um, so what do you say to people who, you know, who you teach? They come in and they they... They have a hard time with the exercise. They have a hard time with diet, and they feel like they just can't do it. How can you motivate them, or how do you motivate them? Well, one of the things I do with my class is that is I really try to explain to them why they need to do it. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we call a medical term, of course, pathophysiology, but it's really how the body works. So I I, I think visuals are so important. So I really draw a visual for them Mm -hmm. and really kind of take them through carbohydrates and how, of course, the the digestion and how the body utilizes its sugar. And I say to them, and I said, you know, how do we control, in a sense, how much sugar comes into our bloodstream? Mm -hmm. You know, and asking them that question. So then we talk about, well, I control it by what I eat and of right. course what I drink and then the other side to that is I tell them I said so what I uh, what I talk about is of course that carbohydrates are fuel they're energy for yeah. your body so they're important we just have to find the right balance the, the right and so I say to them and I said so when I exercise what do I need to exercise and and they say so we ask these questions they say energy and I said absolutely <laughs> yeah. so what that means is that when you exercise you're using up that extra sugar that's yeah. in your bloodstream so I really talk to them in a sense of now that they can see the picture in regards to, oh, if I eat right, that's going to mean less sugar in my blood. If I exercise, that's going to mean less sugar in my blood. So I really talk to them in a sense of exercise as medicine, food as medicine. So that. that, in a sense, takes away... Like you're saying, that peel, yeah. you know, for some, some again, like I said, can come off of that. Definitely some, you know, of course, off insulin, different things like that. So when I say that to them, like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, I see how you this see works. Yeah. And so with them seeing that, now, of course, they're more motivated mm-hmm. to say, okay, now I see how these pieces of the puzzle, yeah, of course, fit work. together. Yeah. And now I can say, okay, yes, I am going to do. And I tell them, I said, if you don't believe me, let's do this. You'll see me in a week. Yeah. Go out there and do the exercise. Size. Check your numbers before. Check your numbers after, mm-hmm. and see what makes it. In. As opposed to me sitting, eating, and sitting down for right, five right. hours. Not as opposed to anything. eating and moving, mm-hmm. and they come back and they're like, "Oh my god, you yeah. know it works." They can, you can, yes. You, you start noticing and feeling the mm-hmm. difference in your body and just in your mindset in yes. general. You know, mm-hmm. um, once you start feeling results and seeing results. That will motivate you to keep Absolutely. going. And Absolutely. It's, you know, like we was talking earlier, you know, it's, it's like when you're dealing with some type of illness like, you know, diabetes, it's important for you to take care of yourself. Yes. Because what's going to happen, God forbid, if you down the line and you have complications mm-hmm. of it, um, stroke, whatever, yes. mm-hmm. and now you potentially come a liability to your loved ones. Mm-hmm. 
you know, mm-hmm. and that's not a good feeling, yes. you know. Yes. So you always want to make sure that you are an asset to your yes. family members, mm-hmm. to your coworkers, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. To, and practicing safe care is, yes. is the number one thing because, you know, I always say this, Ms. Graham, it's like when somebody gets sick, when you get ill, mm-hmm. somebody gets paid off yes. your illness. Yes, absolutely. You know, mm-hmm. and how would you feel if you're able to take the same – finances, uh, you know, from medicine, mm-hmm. get well, mm-hmm. get off the meds, yes. and then take that same money and, and rotate that back into your checking yes. account. Yes, yes. That's mm-hmm. an amazing feeling, exactly. like, oh, my God, exactly. you know, you can actually put that money back into yes. whatever you want to yes. put it in. Mm-hmm. And I, I love and, talking about that because yes. I'm telling you, when they put me on Atlantis, mm-hmm. my insurance didn't cover that. Yeah. It yes. was one hundred and sixty four dollars mm-hmm. for five pins a week. Yes. I was like, mm-hmm. "Oh wait, exactly." I'm yes. about to go mm-hmm. <laughs> to the poor house with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I was like, "Oh no!" Mm-hmm. This is so when I was able to reverse everything, mm-hmm. it was a great feeling when my daughter said, "I'm going to suggest that we take you off the meds." Yes. When a I tell you, I praise. Yes, I was doing it. I was, <laughs> you know, it was a, that, it, yes. it was a sign of accomplishment. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. I did it. You did I it. worked hard. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I actually put in the effort, yes. you know. So now when I see people, just like last weekend mm-hmm. at Grady, I saw people, you know, hooked up, you know, to tubes and the machines and, you know, doctors everywhere. And everybody looked the same to me, you know. Yes. And mm-hmm. I'm like, whoa, yes. people are really, you know, they're really ill. Yeah. Uh, something happened to them, you know? Yeah, and you know, and I think, uh, you know, to your point earlier, because um, we know that, of course, diabetes affects certain, of course, um, you know, ethnic groups, African Americans, of course, Latinos, yeah. um, Asians, and um, Indians. And one of the things that I deal with a lot, to your point, is that they have, of course, um, family members that have had, of course, diabetes and all of the complications that go along yeah, with diabetes. Yeah. So I say to them, these things don't have to happen. Mm. And back to your point is if we're taking care of ourselves, we're managing. And I said, diabetes is something we can manage. And if we manage it, people can live long, healthy lives. And again, if we're not managing, that's when we have the problems of our eyes, kidneys, heart, all of those other things. But I say to them too, that this is something that I can have, but this is something I can truly do something, of course, about, about, you know, and to, you know, you asked me earlier about, of course, my um, foundation. And that was really one of the things that the name came from, because I said, we're losing this fight with diabetes, but this is something we can win. And again, by us being, you telling your story, being in these communities, this Mm -hmm. is something we can win. We can help people People, of course, mm-hmm. like I said, live, you know, very productive and, and happy lives yeah. with, of course, diabetes. See, earlier she said 30 million Americans yes. are living with diabetes. Yes. Some people don't even know yes. that they even have it. Now, mm-hmm. how many people do you know exactly that suffer from diabetes, mm-hmm. pre-diabetes, mm-hmm. pre-diabetes, excuse me, mm-hmm. um, complications of diabetes? Yes. How many people do you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, you may know somebody, maybe it's a, you know, family member or mm-hmm. friend, you know, mm-hmm. and um, you can help them with some of this information. Exactly. You know, because Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Diabetes is not a death sentence. No, no, when, it is not. When people get diagnosed, they'd be like, oh, my God, life is over, yeah. you know, and it's not a death sentence. Mm-mm. No. Actually, it could be a wake up call. Exactly. It exactly. is. If we definitely, if we we catch things early, and I think, like you said, that people there's a stigmatism mm-hmm. as well that comes along with it. Um, so just knowing, and that was one of the messages that I try to, you know, of course, tell people: this doesn't mean that your life is over. Right. This is something we can do something about. Yeah. It's making a decision that you're going to change, change some of those things that we have, you know, lifestyle have changes. <laughs> <laughs> we picked up along the way. Yeah, yes. definitely. Habits definitely. that we picked up. Yes. Habits, bad habits that yes. we picked up. Mm-hmm. I know I was having some, oh, my mm-hmm. God, I had some bad habits. Yes. I was drinking. I was partying. Mm-hmm. I was uh, running at Burger King. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite foods was the double wobble with oh, cheese my. and the coat. Yes. And mm-hmm. I was just doing it. And yes. before you know it, 
you know, I was uh, 240 mm. pounds, uh, 40 inch waist, you know, and I was like, but I thought I was cool, though. I thought I was like, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. but, you know, it's, it's so funny because I went to a health fair with um, Blue Cross Blue Shield mm-hmm. a few years ago, and they had the in-house trainer in there. It was about five uh, no, it was like 2009 okay. before I even got sick. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he saw my size. He's like, I can tell you working out, but he said, if you lose by 20 pounds, you'd be nice. Yes. I'm mm-hmm. looking at him. I'm like, anybody trying to lose 20 <laughs> pounds? <laughs> Not knowing yes. exactly what he was saying, exactly. but you know, I was like, man. Mm-hmm. And 20 pounds off of me changed my life. life. Yes. It was Mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. And we see just in diabetes prevention, if we talk about there's another, of course, DPP DPP program, which is uh, CDC, uh, of course, program that five to seven percent. So we're talking five to ten pounds. Now, yeah. you, of course, did a phenomenal job. Mm-hmm. But just because of, people think five pounds won't make a difference or ten pounds. Yeah, yes, yeah. it will. It made so, a again, this makes a difference. Diabetes, cholesterol, high blood pressure, yeah. all of these different things that that small weight loss. And of course, many of us need to take it further. Some yeah. people just have maybe 10 or 15, you know, 15 right, pounds. Right. But again, not not thinking that those small changes won't make a difference. But they do. Yeah, baby steps count as long as you're moving forward. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, especially mm-hmm. when you're trying to get right with exactly. this. You know, like you said, cholesterol. You mm-hmm. definitely need to control mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal mm-hmm. until I started going through it. Yes. And started coaching people who has it, has it, or mm-hmm. reversed it. Yes. And I was like, whoa, this is really. Um, I got to look more into it because mm-hmm. I can help a lot of people yes. with my story yes. and, you know, what yes. I, what I went through, mm-hmm. you know. And I found a passion in that. I was yes. like, man, you, you got to do you gotta mm-hmm. do better because mm-hmm. I, I know for me personally, I did not like injecting myself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hate it. Nobody I likes hate it. Yeah, nobody likes it. I'm looking for a more <laughs> com- less sensitive spot. I'm pinching yes. for an inch. Mm-hmm. And yes. I'm saying to myself, no, no. this mm-hmm. cannot be. Yes. Yes. What did I do? Mm-hmm. And I and I look right in the mirror. I say, you know, you there's something wrong with yes. you. You mm-hmm. know, look what you done mm-hmm. did to us. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, it freaked mm-hmm. me out. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. I was totally floored by yes. it. So how do you tell your clients or your students that take your class to deal with certain cravings? Is there a, spe- a specific thing that you tell them? Because cravings kick in, yes, you know. Yes, they do. They do. And, and you know, uh, again, it goes a lot into because there's so much more with the management, um, looking at numbers and so on and so forth. But I find that when people come to class, the number one thing is what can I eat? Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's nothing Help else me. I don't want to know about you. <laughs> what can I eat? And oftentimes people say, well, you know, I knew before I got here you was going to tell me not to eat. So I stopped right. at McDonald's. Oh. I stopped at work. Yeah, King. I get it. So again, to get that last meal oh, in. Man. But, you know, I had a gentleman today, and, and again, he was saying that he has a sweet tooth. Yeah. And, oh and again, yeah. I said to him, those are things that we can't, in a sense, ignore because we're not talking, when we talk about healthy eating or lifestyle change, it's not a diet. Right. So it's not something, because, you know, diets we do for a little while and then we're done. Fall off, but yeah. I can't really do that if my goal is really, like you saying, trying to, you know, reverse or, or, or bring these numbers numbers down right. I, because the minute I stop doing that numbers are going back, back up. up so oh. one of the things I say <laughs> when he was talking to me today and I said really let's just think about what you're doing because I really want to talk to make what I do for people individual and that mm-hmm. means there's no cookie cutter what is it right. that, that right. you like mm-hmm. what are the things that you like and how we can work around right. some of those right. things so with those cravings I you know I say to them definitely want to look at how we're eating mm-hmm. because a lot of times some of that comes because of hunger and yeah. so now I'm just you know in a sense ravenous trying to look for anything right, and, and right. so making sure we're having some balanced meals throughout the day and if we do think about some of those you know sweet tooth or different things some you know some options I knew you, you wrote something <laughs> dark chocolate again, yes you know yeah. some other options that they can and like I said dark chocolate might be fruit maybe you know yeah. yogurt maybe and sometimes it could be a cookie or two yeah, it's yeah. that I can't eat a whole pack of cookies you can't eat a but I can, yeah, exactly. oh my but God. I can eat them because 
I, I, I also always give a little example. And, you know, I show a plate and I put the cookie in the middle. <laughs> and the cookie is what they wanted. Yeah. But they said, oh, I can't eat that. So they eat cheese. Yeah. And I can't eat that. I eat chips. They I say, eat the, so you eat all these things around the cookie. And now I've had more carbs, more calories. And yeah. I could have just had that one small little thing. One small yes. little Yes. So I think really trying to say... What is it that they like and mm-hmm. how can we get to a healthy place with what they like? Right. And sometimes it's small little tweaks in a sense to get there. I think if you put that same plate in front of me, the first item I may recognize is the cookie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody probably goes straight to the yes. cookie like, yes. oh, my God, yes. I get a cookie? Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, yes. so I'm like, oh, she gave me a cookie. So that must be a treat or yes. reward yes. for mm-hmm. lowering my numbers or something <laughs> like that. Yes. What, what about um, what about alcohol and mm-hmm. while diabetic? Well, one of the things that, um, of course, um, the American Diabetes Association, because as you know, of course, a certified educator, we we deal in evidence base, of course, you know, education and nutrition and, and all of that. And mm-hmm. one of the things that they do, uh, if people don't have a problem, of course, some people shouldn't be drinking, right? Uh, but they do recommend one drink a day for women and two drinks a day for men. So what I say to them is, what that equivalent looks mm-hmm. like. Right. So um, again, beer, for instance, yeah. a twelve fluid ounce of beer, not a six pack. Right. So. So that means one of those. And we realize that beer is from barley, so right. it has carbs. So right. we've got to take that in consideration. Mm-hmm. Um, again, if wine, it's five fluid ounces. Right. It's not the bottle of wine. It's not. So, <laughs> <laughs> so again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me repeat that. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. Hold on, hold on. It is not the whole bottle. Yes. Of one. Let's just be clear. Listen to yes. what she said. Yes. It is not the whole bottle. Absolutely. You know, and yes. one serving. Yes. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So those are some things. And then of course certain drinks that have fruit juices and, mm. you know, sodas as mixers and things like that. So those sometimes we want to make and you know, kind of be um careful with. We never right. want to just drink on an empty stomach. Mm-hmm. Um, because that of course, you know, it could potentially, of course, lower blood sugars too. Yeah. So and, and the could lower blood blood sugar and raise them depending on what type of chasers you have in there. So they, again, recommending that for, of course, sensible drinking, one sensible. drink a day, yes, <laughs> uh, for women and two drinks a day for men. Two drinks a day for men. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just encouraged a whole lot of people. <laughs> now, she said yes, that yes. I can have. But you know what? I like to be honest in a sense because yeah. what, we, what, what I realize is that with people and dealing with people over the past 15 years, they're going to do it and not say and not tell you so and i said so again i'm saying and let's have a conversation let's have a dialogue about it and then we're going to do it but we're going to do it the right way right because another thing that i find uh with working with people over the years i get a lot of people that come to me and say well they were with this face and they said no 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 to all these things people don't like in a sense, no. <laughs> so again, how can I get you to the healthiest place? Right. Because there's there's financial, of course. Um, you're looking at you know living. There's all different things in regards Correct. to goes into people and eating and what they're doing mm-hmm. and what they're dealing with. So I'm really trying to work to get people to the healthiest, of course, place right. that they can possibly, of course, be. What about stress levels? Mm-hmm. Stress is so so stress important to is control. yes. I mean, control. especially especially if you're trying to reverse, um, yes. maintain type two diabetes, mm-hmm. stress in itself is going to kick in. Yes, you're mm-hmm. going to get tired, you're going to get aggravated. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to be really hangry yes. at mm-hmm. times. So mm-hmm. it raises your stress level. So yes. You know, what would you tell people how to deal with the stress? Again, we go back to and what I think I I find in a sense and what helps, you know, patients be so successful is, again, telling them how this stress is affecting their body. Mm -hmm. So when you look at stress and we have stress from different places, stress from, of course, emotional stress, as well as stress that illness puts on the body, lack of sleep and all of that. Mm -hmm. And what I talk to people is about stress can raise blood sugars and it raises it again that, you know, physical physiological, of course, piece that goes on that the body is, again, trying to protect itself. So it's pouring actually more sugar into Into the the bloodstream from the liver. And with that, 
now where you you know that you know gosh I get upset and my blood sugar goes right. up but you didn't understand why right so right. now by understanding why mm-hmm. now you see the importance of okay I got to really try to keep this yeah. under control I really have got to you know work on this particular illness really making sure I'm figuring out why I'm not sleeping right. so to really try to de- decrease that stress level mm-hmm. because by decreasing that I'm going to decrease and and of course not have that contribute to raising my blood sugar awesome information yes. a mm-hmm. lot of people don't understand like you know I hate when people say team no sleep I used to be like that sometimes Mm -hmm. until I started realizing what getting enough rest was and I had to change my lifestyle in order for me to get that sleep because Mm -hmm. when I got like less than six hours Mm -hmm. I got up in the morning I was not hungry yes Mm-hmm. Uh, I was irritable. I didn't know why, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know. And then when mm-hmm. I did decide to eat, I would eat whatever, yeah. you mm-hmm. know. But I, then I was afraid to eat whatever because I knew I had to inject myself, yes. mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. I said, you you know, so sleep is is critical when yes. you're dealing with diabetes. You really have to plan for at least six or eight, definitely yes. eight. Yes. But you, if you get seven, that's fine, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. without lack of sleep, you know, you're going to suffer from hangriness and, mm-hmm. you know, Irritability, exactly. frustration. Yes. Oh yes. my God! Mm-hmm. It just a, is a wide array of feelings yes. and emotions going through you. So, mm-hmm. and then that's going to increase your stress levels oh, yes. as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so controlling your stress and removing toxic things, yes. or relationships, yes. or whatever the case may be, because that's very important that as you're going through your diabetic journey, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you have to understand like, look, okay, this person or this particular situation is really aggravating me right yes. now. Yes. Yes. And if I don't do something about it, I'm a, I'm going to be sick. Exactly. And I think it goes back to what you mentioned earlier, self-care. Yeah. So I deal with a lot of patients that, of course, that we're, you know, taking care of loved ones, dealing with loved ones. And at some point, you know, and be it men or, you know, women, but mm-hmm. we, we naturally want to take care of others. Yeah. And a lot of times we don't take care of ourselves. Yeah. And what I say yeah. to patients is that if you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to be here to take care oh of anybody God. else. Yeah. So it's so important as you talked about earlier that self care yeah we've got to be just a little selfish and making just, sure like you're saying we're getting and the you know we're meeting you know of course our needs and making sure we're getting our rest making sure right. we're you know like you're saying hydrated eating all of those things and taking care of ourselves so that we can have and be able to get out there and take care of others yeah. and do the things that we want to do it's crazy others. because like when you get on a plane and then you know the steward is yes. you know they say put the mask secure the mask yes. on yourself Self first, first. Yes. before you can exactly help anybody, anybody else. else. So that's I mean it. that's the same thing. Exactly. You know, exactly. you really have to do it. And some people may say, like, you know, you selfish. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, uh, I, I have to do this, yes. you know. And it's mm-hmm. hard sometimes to be very, very um, practicing the principles of self care. Mm-hmm. It's difficult because exactly. sometimes you have to be emotional. Yes. Or less emotional, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and then sometimes you know it's going to affect a lot of people, and they don't yes. understand why. Yes, but you know it's it's something that it sacrifices have to be made when it comes down to dealing with you know diabetes. Mm-hmm. You, you have to give up a lot. Yes, you know. And you know, and I I, I tell people, um, unfortunately, I lost my mother last year, and it was a very Sorry. quick of uh, thank you um, illness. She, we found out in February she was gone by May, wow. and you know my mother was one of the most giving, of course, people, and of course again giving so much that a lot of times she did neglect herself. Mm-hmm. And one of the things, and it's it it hasn't been um, an easy process for me, but it's something that I'm learning because that's me. I'm a giver. Right. And I, again, you know, to my patients, to my family, to everyone. And for many years, as you said, feeling like if I did something for myself or I did that, that I was being, of course, selfish. So mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I don't think that, again, that's my makeup. That's how God made me, of right, course, right. to be a giver. I'm going to be that person. But along with giving to others, I've got to do better with taking care, yeah. of course, of me. And that's hard, though. It you is. Know? It I mean, really, really is. Because I struggle every single oh, <laughs> You know, every hey, single day. Some yes. days is like, like I was telling the guys in the green room, some days I feel like I, I, I can't hold it together. Then yes. some days I feel like I'm just spinning a ball. Yes. Like, yes. yeah, yes. I got this mm-hmm. hard go trials yes. with it. And then some days I'm like, oh, I got the yes. battle. Yes. You know, but that's yes. what it is. Mm-hmm. And when you're dealing with lifestyle diseases, you know, you really have to maintain mm-hmm. your awareness of what's going on in your personal life and yes. your professional life exactly. everybody who's around you mm-hmm. the choices mm-hmm. that you make yes. when it comes yes. down to meals mm-hmm. um, do 
I need that alcohol I drink? Like sometimes I yes. want a beer, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, I need a beer. Yes, like, yes. Like, you're not on that kick mm-hmm. right yes. now. Fall exactly. back, but exactly. I, the cravings. Yes, of, you know, yes. I wanted mm-hmm. a pizza. Yeah, you know. I'd be like, oh, God, mm-hmm. and I'd be praying. Yes. I'd be like, Lord, help me. There. Yeah. You know, then I I just go do some type of healthy pasta meal or yes. whatever, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm trying to maintain because I still have goals. Yes. And mm-hmm. it's it's hard. Like people think like, oh, you did it. I said, no, I still struggle. It's it's a, it's you a know? work. And and again, what we have to realize with diabetes is it is a chronic disease. Yeah. So that means it's something that I am going to be dealing with. Yeah. Um. Until of course, really for the rest of my life, but. Even with that, like I said, what you've done is phenomenal. Appreciate and being that. able to, you know, that people and walk and say, I can do this. Yeah, you can, you can do it. I can it. do this. And again, that I can manage this, of course, you know, disease. Yeah. yeah. With that. It, it becomes, oh man, it becomes a journey of perseverance. Yes. Um, you, you really have to dig deep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because when you're dealing with diabetes, even though you may have the best insurance, yes. you know, you still have to come out of pocket yes. with things. Mm-hmm. And if you're not really educated on how to um, take care of the lifestyle disease, mm-hmm. you're going to be spending money that you may yes. not have to mm-hmm. spend. And that's mm-hmm. what I realized. I had to yes. really pay attention to yes. it. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I don't need that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why do I need that lotion? I yes. just look like a regular lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I need those special socks? Yeah. You know, it's mm-hmm. like... Why do I need those tablets? Mm-hmm. You know, yes. I started questioning all yes. those things. Mm-hmm. You know, and mm-hmm. um, I'll go used to go get my um, my meds, mm-hmm. and right by the medicine place is, is the socks and the yes. lotions and mm-hmm. the tablets mm-hmm. and the glucerna, and, mm-hmm. the, and I was like, oh my god, yes. you know, they really try to draw you in there. So I, I, I had to pay attention. I said, if you, if you, Terrence, if you want to save money, mm-hmm. if you want to redirect money back into your checking mm-hmm. account, mm-hmm. you're going to have to go 1,000% on this yes. and take control of your life. Take yes. control of the diabetes, take mm-hmm. control of the blood pressure, take yes. control of everything. Everything yes. cold turkey like stop. Yes, exactly. You know, so, mm-hmm. and it's not for everybody. You no, have to have not. your why, yes, you know, why you need it. to do it. That's you know? it. And you know, it's so funny that you say that because there was a gentleman um, when I was starting my class today because the class was really about, um, you know, teaching them about label reading and, and you know, ingredients and looking at, right, you know, right. different things. Mm-hmm. So there was a, they were having a conversation amongst themselves and they were talking about, <laughs> oh, the diabetic foods or the diabetic <laughs> diet or the diet. So one of the gentlemen on the other side of the room and he says, because I've, I've said to them all the time, it's really in a sense of, you know, portion control and moderation in regards to what we're having. Mm-hmm. And so one of the gentlemen said, well, you know, that's just extra money. Yeah. So again, a lot of these things that they, you know, like you're saying, they tag as, you know, be it you know, gluten free, different things, yeah, all these yeah, things. Yeah. It's really extra because there's another way sometimes, as you said, right. that you looked at how do I get around because I don't need to pay the extra money right. for this. I can do this, of course, a different way. So, but again, back to what we're saying, it requires a little bit of homework. It yeah. requires a little bit on your part. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. Because oftentimes we look at, and I, you know, I say with the physicians, we're going there for them in a sense to fix, but there's only so much they can do. Right. I said they have the medication, of course, sometimes education, but you've got to go home and do the work. Oh, you have yes. to really get in front of the laptop and yes. just really just. Google some stuff and see what works with you. And one thing that helped me mm-hmm. was the um, healthy elixirs that I already had mm-hmm. in my mm-hmm. pantry mm-hmm. that I did not know that can really help you eliminate mm-hmm. or re- reverse or reduce some of the symptoms mm-hmm. or lower your glucose levels, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like uh, the apple cider vinegar mm-hmm. and the cinnamon, cumin and curry. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I did not know that mm-hmm. until I started research, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and that helped me like spices and herb, mm-hmm. fresh herbs. Mm-hmm. Like don't sleep on that. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. those things really, really helped me. Mm-hmm. And I tell people all the time, like, like invest in some fresh um, spices and yes. herbs mm-hmm. and cook with that mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. make sure that, you know, everything that you're implementing in your meals, make sure that, you know, is beneficial to, mm-hmm. to the disease. Yes. You mm-hmm. know, so everything that you prepare, and you consume, yes. you know that in your digestive system, your stomach, everything, you're getting the nutrients and mm-hmm. everything you need to mm-hmm. help maintain that 
that A1C or that, that blood glucose mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. And that's the main thing. I didn't know, like, apple cider vinegar, the bomb mm-hmm. comes down to diabetes. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. that helped me a lot, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know. And that with the cardio and everything, mm-hmm. it really became, when I got to the, when they took me off everything, that was one of the happiest days of my life. Yes, yes. I was, mm-hmm. I was, <laughs> I was, boy, I was in there. Yeah. Doing a praise dance. Yeah, yes. because mm-hmm. the struggle was, mm-hmm. oh, my God. Yes. No more needles? hmm You can't be serious right yes. now. Mm-hmm. No more pills? Yes. Oh. oh yeah. But I yes. said, okay, don't get happy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Continue to push. Continue. Because Continue. one thing I read is that it can quickly come. Yes, through. it can. Yes, it and can. snatch you, and you yes. were like, what's happening? Exactly. I was doing so well. No, exactly. you was messing up. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I tell people, and, and that is the greatest thing that I say to people, that people have been able to come off of, of course, medication but, and change those numbers by diet and, of course, of exercise. That's why we have to look at that also as a mm-hmm. medication. Yeah, um, but as, as we said earlier, if we do not continue that, it goes back up. Cool, so, yeah. like you said, in the in the era of reverse or that type of thing, so we we can reverse or get those. But if I don't maintain. keep these maintain and oh keep my, these yeah. these you know that weight loss up, keep those of course those um, doing that exercise that diet, those numbers are going back up. Mm-hmm. But even with that, um, I want people to just understand how empowering that is. Mm-hmm. That you can truly make that difference. Yeah. It's not those medications and all these other things that is you yeah, everything that you do making that difference making yes and making a huge difference yes so you got to realize this remember this it's not just you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that has to do you know i mean it's not you're not the only one that has to do yes. it you know yes. you have to do it for everyone that's in your circle yes Family members, friends, everybody. You mm-hmm. have to do it for them. Exactly. Because nobody wants to really be, you know, seeing loved members, mm-hmm. you know, loved mm-hmm. ones ill or sick all the yes. time because mm-hmm. they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Exactly. You know, so it's like pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing and mm-hmm. let let everybody around you know, like, hey, I'm on top of this. Yes. I'm going to give it a million mm-hmm. percent. Mm-hmm. I have goals. I'm going to reach them Mm -hmm. but when people are seeing you making continuously bad decisions Mm -hmm. with it and then all of a sudden you know something you got glaucoma Mm -hmm. um, amputations on the way Mm -hmm. you know nerve damage in the Mm -hmm. feet Mm -hmm. um, uh, periodontal Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. definitely you know and um, it's a big deal. Yeah, and what I tell people when they leave my classes is that, you know, oftentimes they come through and they say, oh, my gosh, we got a lot of papers. We got a lot of info. Yeah. And I said, this is something you need to understand. This is something that you, of course, need to take charge of. Mm-hmm. But what I say to them after they come through the classes, I say, you know, again, you are now my ambassadors. Because you will go places that I will never go. Right. And I said, you will touch people that I never can touch. And the message will be different from you because they will be able to see right. the results, as mm-hmm. you, what you said. They will say, well, gosh, you know, well, she weighed this and now she's this. Right. Or, boy, she was taking, you know, taking mm-hmm. insulin. Now she's not taking insulin. Right. There's nothing more that, I mean, that is, of course, the greatest endorsement yeah. is that this works. Yeah, the this exercise, works. the mm-hmm. diet, all of this works to, to see someone train transform their life right that that this is something that they can you know they did mm-hmm. it wasn't by the help of anyone right. else so I say to them that you know in the other uh, population is these young people that are coming up the children that are coming behind they don't believe that of course these children are going to outlive this in generation because mm-hmm. of the diet right. the lack of exercise mm-hmm. so to your point it means a lot when those individuals can in a sense they go out and they speak that message because it, it brings a different way as I said with your story, it just brings, it, it just sends a different message and it resonates with certain people that, that for me, even as an educator, that I can't even touch right. some of those people sometimes. It's, it's funny because I thought I was locked into everything when I, mm-hmm. when I came out of ICU. And yes. then when I did my researching, I found that there are millions of people who actually won the battle. Mm-hmm. Yes. With type mm-hmm. 2 diabetes. They won. Or yes. any type of lifestyle yes. disease. Mm-hmm. And the, the first question that came to my mind was like, how? Yes. What did they do? Mm-hmm. How mm-hmm. can I do that? Yes. 
and it was certain sites like D Life, you know, oh, yeah. and D-life. definitely mm-hmm. they they were the one that really I was on there every day. I was yes. signing up for their newsletters yes. and everything, you mm-hmm. know, and um I got I picked up so many nuggets mm-hmm. that yeah. I use. I still get their yes. newsletters right yes. now. And we're talking yes. about nine years later. Oh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and um I was like, this is great yes, yes. because I was not learning this in the hospitals. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, exactly. when, when we, I always say this because when we talk about diabetes uh, maintenance, mm-hmm. it's a $468 billion annually oh, yes. just mm-hmm. on you maintaining it and make yes. a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, but also it's a lot of money in uh, reversing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. diabetes, what yes. I found mm-hmm. out too. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. You to know? your point, I'm putting more money back in my <laughs> yeah. pocket. I'm not paying for all Financial of Financial wellness yes. is like, because yes. when, when I got off the insulin, I started saving. I started investing. Yes. And I bought a car, mm-hmm, and you know, mm-hmm. I traveled a little bit. Yes. I was like, "This mm-hmm. is great," yes. you know. <laughs> and uh, so I wanted to help other people do yes. it. And mm-hmm. when I started out, it was a lot of people reaching out to me, even to this day. Mm-hmm. Complication with diabetes. Yes. They want to mm-hmm. know, you know, the type of foods to eat. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. When exercise, how to exercise. I see that's another yes. thing we talked about. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. like a lot mm-hmm. of people don't know. You know, it's like if you're type one or type two, yes. it's certain times you should exercise, yes. and certain mm-hmm. times, you know, you should not. You exactly. want to. You want to. So on yeah. It. So again, we we want to be careful with exercise because exercise can do two things. It can lower blood sugars and it can, of course, um, raise blood sugars. So mm-hmm. we always need to um, check our blood sugar before, of course, we exercise and then after we exercise because mm-hmm. we really want to see how that exercise affects our blood sugar. And to your point, you know, pretty mm-hmm. much that you know, if I'm above two fifty, I probably shouldn't be doing any Sit exercise. Down. Yes. Sit down. Um, because again, depending on the t- the intensity of the exercise, yeah. the stress that intensity puts on your body mm-hmm. can drive your blood sugar up. And if I wake up and my blood sugar is 100 and I go out, because that's a mentality <laughs> right. sometimes, oh, I'm going to burn off this right, extra right. fat, and now I can end up with a 50 blood sugar yeah. and laid out, and of course, in the gym <laughs> with a low blood sugar. Exactly. So, you know, to your point, it's very important to yeah. make sure that we're, we're doing that. But I, I think that's the importance of, and, and again, with, um, you know, some Someone, you know, like, of course, yourself, you know, me, a diabetes educator, dietitian, your physician, Mm -hmm. talking with someone in regards that can help with this education side. Because, you know, those little things people just don't know. And they they really, they're thinking they're doing a good thing. And then all of a sudden they're passed out and they're like, oh my God, I was just trying to exercise and trying to help, but not knowing those things. So it's important to get in and get education. Yeah, you Mm -hmm. definitely have to pay attention. Uh, before you exercise. Yes. Yes. So you, you, I know that was time consuming. A lot of people be like, I, I just want to go exercise. Yes. I don't want to, pr-. and that's mm-hmm. another thing that motivated <laughs> me because I didn't want to check myself yes. before exercise. Yes. I just mm-hmm. want to go do my thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't do it. I had yes. to pay attention because oh, I was yes. so afraid. I had a phobia yes. of, oh my God, if I know I ate yes. and my mm-hmm. numbers is over 300, mm-hmm. now I want to exercise. Mm-hmm. And then, you can pass out right oh, here, yeah. you mm-hmm. know, or, mm-hmm. you know, like you said, uh, most people get up early in the morning, exercise yes. on an empty stomach. But mm-hmm. if you're at 100, mm-hmm. you should not exercise. You should eat a meal, yes. then wait an hour mm-hmm. or two, then perform your exercise yes. regimen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's that's huge when it comes yes. down to diabetes. Now, mm-hmm. I know it may seem like a whole lot of things you have to pay attention to. Yes. But trust me, it's worth it. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, because Absolutely. if you pass out, just say you didn't eat anything or you ate too much and then you go work out mm-hmm. and you're at Stone Mountain, it's 90 degrees oh, outside yes. Yes. and you out there with your friends, mm-hmm. you or know. alone. Or alone. You just think of people being out there alone. Right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. You, you're thinking you're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. What exercise is it? It's, yes. it's the right thing. It is. But mm-hmm. you have to pay attention to it. Exactly. Numbers, exactly. You know? With everything, there's, you know, the precautions and just yeah. making sure we're being safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exercise is a dangerous thing mm-hmm. when it mm-hmm. comes down to, you know, lifestyle diseases. Yes. You gotta mm-hmm. you have to really pay attention. Yes. So mm-hmm. when I do, when I talk to people about exercise therapy or exercise and disease, you know, it's like it, it goes hand in hand. Yes. You really have to pay attention to mm-hmm. it. You mm-hmm. know, if you just got out of a hospital for something, a diagnosis or whatever, you definitely want to start talking about your nutrition. Yes. Mm-hmm. You definitely want to start moving around as much as possible, mm-hmm. understanding your activity levels every five hours, mm-hmm. and then adjust your cardio, mm-hmm. adjust your, your nutritional intake. Yes. So you're not sitting and then putting on pounds and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's it's a big deal, you yeah. know. And 
going through the changes, I had to really pay attention to that. Yes. You yes. know, so it's like, you know. And it's, I think, you know, one of the things that I tell people is that with, with diabetes, we have a team. Mm -hmm. So as you said, I've got my physician, you know, I've got my dietitian, my, you know, of course, my, edu you know, certified ed educator like myself. I've got my fitness, of course, um, my, my coach, my trainer. Um, I've got all these people on the team. So, and then, of course, I'm the most important people. I'm, I'm the MVP, of right, course, right. of the team. And, and it's working with all of these people to really make sure that we get, of course, the best diabetes, of course, management. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, a lot of times we, you know, we've got one person on the team. Team and we really need another person on there. So mm -hmm. one of the things they're doing is educating people about who that team is. Because, you know, for your, some, one like yourself, of course, a fitness perfect that the, the physician doesn't have sometimes the information that right. you have. But you may not have the information that the physician that has. Have, yeah. So it's all of those things, of course, working together and building a strong team to, again, make sure, as you know, say, of course, uh, of uh, getting to that championship, yeah, yeah, getting, getting to the yeah, end of, you know, the same. yes. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. so to all you, all your primary physician, all your doctors <laughs> out there, reach out to us because yes, we definitely yes. can network with you guys. Yes. So if you're yes. just tuning in, we're almost done. Mm -hmm. This is the Total Wellness Show with Terrence on One Way Praise Radio. Mm -hmm. I am here with the most intellectual nurse, Miss <laughs> Lisa Graham. Sharing a lot of nuggets. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody where they can find you at. Um, again, I'm Lisa Graham, registered nurse, certified diabetes educator. You can find me at renewandlive.com. Um, also, diabetes you can win, of course, dot com, and, or excuse me, dot org. And you can go there and find out about our programs, of course, what we're doing in the community. Um, again, you know, the nonprofit is, is based, of course, grants and, and mm -hmm. you know, of course, and um, donations. So if you want to don donate and help us to do the work that we do, of course, in the community, uh, diabetesyoucanwin.org is a place that you can, of course. And that's a good title for you can win. You can win. You yes. can. Most people mm -hmm. feel like, you know, they under the, exactly. the thumb, but, yes. you know, you can win. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, we're going to show you the strategies yes. and the tips and mm -hmm. the shortcuts. Yes. Everything that you need to help you maintain it or reverse it. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, we don't want you to stay on the meds. Exactly. Now, if you have to, then okay. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but if you don't have to, only thing you have to do is make simple lifestyle yes. tweaks. Yes. And before you know it, mm -hmm. you're going to be living at the one of the best versions of your yes. life. You know? Absolutely. Um, if you if you get up earlier, exercise, mm -hmm. drink the water, mm -hmm. watch your intake of mm -hmm. food. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Pay attention. I mean, you don't have to check off every calorie yes, or whatever. Exactly. But once it's I realized, tedious. yeah, it's mm -hmm. like you don't want to do all that. Once you mm -hmm. start to know your body, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you know your, how you feel. Yes. You know, it's like mm -hmm. if I get a headache and mm -hmm. I know, okay, what did I eat? Yes. If mm -hmm. this left eye go to, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I What's need to eat something. On? What's yes. going on? Mm -hmm. You know, I need to eat something. So I can tell when I had too much sodium, mm -hmm. I had too, too much um, yes. sugar. So you have to know your body. Being in tune with Be in your tune body. with yes. it. Listen. To your body. It gives to you your body. tons of signals. We just ignore them yeah. a lot of times. You're like, yes. oh, I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. And some, sometimes mm -hmm. I ignore certain things. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'll be like, you know you need to go get that. Yes, go get it you checked know? out. And then one thing I like, whether it's my dentist or my primary position, mm -hmm. you know, I like when they be hard on me yes. because mm -hmm. they know that um, I can do better. I was supposed mm -hmm. to do better. Exactly. You know, I said, if I take this appointment, they're going to be on me, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. uh, I I need that. Exactly. You know, exactly. I, we all need a little push. Yeah. I think, you know, you mentioned that earlier, that support, that, yeah. that system, that, that, you know, that team, of course, around you, making sure those other people, of course, in your corner. Yeah, we all definitely. need that. Support, mm -hmm. support, support. That's so important. So anyway, we're closing up right now. Once again, to the Total Wellness Show with Terrence on One Way Praise Radio. We're happy that you guys are tuned in mm -hmm. and I uh, hope you got a lot of information yes. from mm -hmm. Nurse Lisa Graham, mm -hmm. Certified Diabetic Educator. Yes. And I'm partnering up with her. We're going to do some amazing things in the community. Yes. I'm, in, I'm super excited about mm -hmm. that. So yes. anyway... Without good health, there can be no wealth. That's Everybody right. know that slogan. That's Everybody true. knows That's that. True. You know, yes. take care of yourself. Be mm -hmm. nice to yourself. Practice self care. Yes. Reach out. Get support from mm -hmm. any type of professional if you need that yes. support. That's you know, right. get the therapy. Yes. Whatever you have mm -hmm. to do to maintain. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, tell your loved ones you love them. Yes. 
You know, tell a loved one, hey, I miss you. I ain't mm-hmm. hear from you in a while. Give somebody a hug. That's true. You know, yes. and give them a Absolutely. compliment, you Absolutely. know, and that's that's going to help with their overall mm-hmm. wellness. Mm-hmm. You know, that's going to, it's not going to cost you a dime mm-hmm. to do exactly. that. It's going to make a that smile. person spirit yes. just open on up. Exactly. So mm-hmm. that's going to help. So mm-hmm. anyway, that's our time to Total Wellness Show with Terrence. And I'll see you guys on next Monday and be looking for us in the community doing a lot mm-hmm. of things with diabetes awareness and maintenance yes. and reversal and mm-hmm. all of that. All of that. Thank you again, Terrence, for <laughs> I appreciate <having> that. <laughs> Thank you so much okay. for coming in short. Are-